does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need Suigo the disciple of Hakuin was a good teacher during one summer seclusion period a pupil came to him from a southern island of Japan Suigo gave him the problem gave the sound of one hand the pupil remained 3 years but could not pass this test One night he came in tears to Suigo I must return south in shame and embarrassment he said for I cannot solve my problem wait for one week more and meditate constantly advised Suigo still no enlightenment came to the people try for another week said Suigo the people obeyed but in vain still another week yet this was of no avail in despair the student begged to be released but suigo requested another meditation of 5 days they were without result then he said meditate for 3 days longer then if you fail to attain enlightenment you had better kill yourself on the second day the people was enlightened what do we see happening here enlightenment is sought enlightenment eludes enlightenment proves difficult to come about the body is put at stake and lo here is enlightenment hmm? enlightenment is sought enlightenment eludes the body is put at stake here is enlightenment all right what is enlightenment look at the mind that seeks enlightenment surely if everything were all right if the mind would have been at rest then the mind would not have sought enlightenment we are looking at the very basics ha huh? there is a mind that is seeking enlightenment or whatever there is a mind that is seeking irrespective of the object enlightenment may or may not be the object of the seeking here it is so the mind is seeking enlightenment for sure the mind is not quite at rest the mind is not really at peace that is why they are seeking had everything been all right the mind would have said things are already all right i do not need to change the situation nothing more needs to be achieved right here something is needed to be achieved so the mind is not quite okay what is this mind that is not feeling okay this is a mind 
full of what is mind full of thoughts and desires desires and fear and objects images concepts. and objects and concepts concepts and knowledge knowledge and suffering and attachments huh? attachment. and bonds and imaginations and awareness is full it does not fill up what is the mind full of right all these things well so <coughs> the world hmm? so images objects thoughts people places events happenings memories the world the world and the world is all material the world is all mm-hmm. material the body is a symbol a metonym for all that is material whenever you encounter the word body in wisdom literature in scriptures in spiritual texts do not take the body just as the human body body means material body means all that has taken a shape a form a name that is the body the upanishads say the world is the body of the truth the world is the body of brahm okay? that is the meaning of body material now what is the mind full of material so the mind is full of body enlightenment is freedom mind trying to mind trying to empty itself of its suffering which is its own content enlightenment is mind trying to get rid of suffering something is not quite proper something is not at place that is why you see the light in me so the mind wants to correct the situation but what is the situation it has to be understood first of all the mind is full of only objects we are looking at a situation that needs to be corrected first of all the mind is full of objects secondly suffering is not something fragmented on the surface the moods and seasons of the mind keep changing so it appears that pain goes and pleasure does come it appears that sometimes we are not sad it appears as if we are able to enjoy moments of relief on the surface only but deep within there is no change there is no change because on observation it is seen that the mind operates within its limits and those limits have remained the same those limits have not at all changed space time is the limit so first of all the mind is not happy with itself secondly 
that which the mind is not happy with is the content of the mind which is the body thirdly we cannot say that the mind is body plus something whatever is there in the mind is body and whatever is there in the mind is suffering in other words to perceive the world as bodily as material is in itself the suffering of the mind you know what we are saying we are saying that the suffering of the mind is that the mind is mind rephrase it to read that just being is the suffering of mind just existing is the suffering of mind you see had you been anything except suffering then you could have said that i can eliminate those portions of my being which are not suffering but you are in totality only body only limitation and you do not like limitations you do not like boundaries you do not like death where there is limitation there is bound to be a cessation there is bound to be death getting it now here is this mind it is seeking relief and how is it seeking relief by going to a master by listening to his words by following his instructions understand that whatever the mind does the process is always accumulative it adds so whereas the disease of the mind is its own being yet even when it goes to the master even when it tries for relief the method it prefers is an accumulative method i will remain what i am and i'll also add the master's teaching to my being i will not get rid of what i am which is material which is body which is thoughts and everything which is all name and form collectively known as the body even when i will go to the master i will accumulate i will take it upon myself the master says go and meditate what will i turn meditation into another object another process another method another something to be thought of another concept it keeps happening the ego is happy the ego is cooperating the ego is keeping everything but if the master is a real master he will be a smart master more clever than the mechanisms of the ego he says all your nonsense is just to protect yourself i am giving you the highest remedy possible but you are making it fail you are conspiring to defeat it just to protect yourself which is the body nothing else do you want you just want the universe to continue you just want to protect your world and what is your world call it body or call it bodily the same thing is there anything non bodily about your world is there anything in your world which does not have a name is there anything in your world that does not have a form and body is all that name form size hmm? 
dimensions. So the master says, all this, sham, this total fiasco is happening just for the obnoxious purpose of preserving the mind which is the body. He says, all right. Then, if I tell you that if you continue with this, then the very purpose for which you are doing this will be defeated. Then all your conspiracy comes to a halt. It is defeated. See, whatever you are doing, you are doing just so that your world keeps running. You want nothing else. But if somehow a master can reveal to you that by doing what you are doing, you will not be able to save the world. If the master can somehow reveal to you that your world will anyway come to an end and is in fact coming to a more horrible end, through your actions to protect the world, then you will have to stop all your actions intended to protect the world. Why do you do all the horrible and idiotic stuff that you do? You do it just to maintain the status quo. You do it just so that all that is old and settled and pattern based, all that you have become comfortable with, that does not pass away. Am I right? But what if somebody reveals to you that that which you want to protect is being severely harmed by your efforts to protect it, then would you still continue with your efforts? The master used this trick. He said, you are not letting enlightenment come to you just to protect the body. But now I am telling you that if you will not let enlightenment come to you, then you will lose the body. Now you will not block enlightenment. You are blocking enlightenment in order to save the body, which is the mind. Enlightenment is the end of the mind. So you block enlightenment because you want to protect the mind, which is the body. So you block enlightenment to secure the mind. And if the master is wise enough, he will tell you that by blocking enlightenment, you are causing more torture to the mind. You think you are helping the mind? You think you are protecting the mind? You think you are a friend of the mind? No. In your stupid effort to block enlightenment, you are only causing yourself more and more pain. And once that is seen, then your own self-interest demands that you do not block the real, the truth anymore. Then enlightenment dawns immediately. This small story contains the whole narrative of whatever mankind has ever done. Man has always wanted peace. But his efforts to get peace have themselves been the resistance against peace. 
you know there is nobody who does not want enlightenment you may want enlightenment in various names and forms somebody may want enlightenment in the form of a tall building somebody may want enlightenment in the form of space travel somebody may want it in some other name form whatever 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 but enlightenment is all that each one wants hmm? and enlightenment is what each one seems to miss because you want enlightenment to improve yourself to protect yourself you want to protect yourself and you say enlightenment should come and help in the process of protection if enlightenment comes then i will become immortal have you not heard this so if enlightenment comes what will become immortal what will continue the ego so you need enlightenment for the sake of the now that's wonderful enlightenment comes knocks every day but it says if i enter then ego will have to leave if i enter then your world the mind the body they will have to be reduced to a secondary position if i come then i will become the first if i come i'll have to be acknowledged as the first if i come i'll come only as the king the ruler everything else all your other priorities will have to be relegated to a lower position so you say no 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 i wanted you but i wanted you just as a servant to my other priorities i want enlightenment as a servant who would be obedient to my other priorities enlightenment cannot come that way it is not the nature of enlightenment to be second it would always be first so here is a trick tell yourself that so far you have not let it come only because you think that you want to be a well wisher of your world you have blogged truth you have blogged wisdom you have blogged peace joy you have blogged all efforts of all teachers just so that you can protect your petty dreams but in blocking them you are only torturing that bleeding that which you wish to protect truth saves you but not only you truth is a general universal savior the ones that you want to protect you will not be able to protect only truth will protect let truth come the truth will take care of you and also the world that you want to protect only the truth can protect that but you are blocking the the truth thinking that you will protect the world no you will not protect the world let truth come in the truth will protect both you and the world only the truth knows the real meaning of protection whenever you have tried to protect you have only done harm to the world have you not getting it Hmm? it's a bit like this the teacher says 
but for the sake of your relationship with your husband you are not answering my call you are not opening the door you think that if i'll enter then your relationship with the husband will be strained but instead i am telling you that if i do not enter then you will totally lose him only i can turn that relationship healthy so don't be foolish open the door you think that by blocking me you will be able to save your relationship no wrong by blocking me you have blocked all that which could have been healthy in your relationship because i represent health if you have blocked me you have blocked health let me come in i will not destroy anything that is healthy yes i will destroy i will destroy but only that which is rotten and must be destroyed so let me come in truth reinforces truth if there is anything healthy in your relationship then my arrival will only boost that health are you getting it that is the truth show the student that the loss happens not when he follows the teacher but when he does not follow the teacher display it prove it and then the mind will fall in line and as zen stories are characteristically fond of saying the mind gets immediately enlightened ha huh? it's a very pretty expression hmm quaint and charming upon hearing these words kunal was immediately enlightened the story by seeing the finger on Like not by seeing the finger but by first having yeah. his finger cut at the last otherwise you can keep seeing fingers all kinds of fingers <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens to you first of all your own finger should be cut नथिंग कैन बी डन बाय वे ऑफ पॉजिटिव एफर्ट नाउ विच हैज नॉट ऑलरेडी बीन डन इन द्री इयर्स the fellow by way of effort by way of doing by way of trying new tricks new methods all effort has already been investing himself since very long time very long time plus additional time one week another week another week 
सो वॉट एवर एफर्मेटिव एक्शन कुड हैव बीन टेकन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन टेकन दीज थ्री डेज आर नॉट फॉर टेकिंग एनी एफर्मेटिव एक्शन दे आर राधर फॉर रिमूविंग द ब्लॉकेज नाउ द डिसाइपल कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग न्यू instead he has to stop doing what he has already been doing always been doing the master realizes that he has reached the end of all effort effort won't help in fact he is now investing his effort just in protecting himself so he has to rather drop effort now no more effort is needed you know something very similar to this is said by kabir kabir in one of his couplets wishes praise that nobody should become fearless he says it is through fear that you gain liberation it is through fear that you become transformed bhay paras hai jeev ko nirbhay hoy na koi that is what is at display here the master shows him that while you are terrified of the master of meditation of enlightenment thinking that you will lose something then if you are so worried and concerned about that object which you do not want to lose and what is that object mind body the world then if you are so concerned about that object i will use your very concern as a tool as a method but this is bhay se bhakti sab par is there is no devotion without fear there is no devotion without fear because that is the habit of the mind it can move only either to get something or to prevent something from being lost fear and greed so sometimes it so happens that the same fear and greed have to be used to become the agents of your enlightenment bottom line that which you are protecting is being destroyed due to your protection and if you really want to protect embrace your enlightenment it is knocking it wants to come only enlightenment protects